Hello, Tom Frezza here for the Naval History and Heritage Command, and today we are again going to be cooking with history with another recipe out of the 1945 edition of the Cookbook of the United States Navy. And the recipe we're going to be focusing on today is for peanut butter filling. Now, sandwiches were probably one of the easiest meals that could be made in the galleys and served to the crews. And it's a very easy meal to eat while you're on watch, if you're at your action stations. And in fact, there's plenty of photos of sailors standing around anti-aircraft guns, stuffing their faces with different sandwiches. And if you look inside this cookbook, there are plenty of different sandwich recipes as well, from the peanut butter filling sandwich to liver and egg sandwich uh, to the baked bean sandwich, which we'll probably get into a, in one of our later videos. But you also have your standard cold cut sandwiches as well. So there are lots of different options that the galleys could churn out. The reason why I'm looking at the peanut butter filling recipe is because growing up, I ate a lot of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and I wanted to, wanted to see what the Navy had during World War II and what their interpretation of the peanut butter sandwich was. So taking a look at the recipe, uh, originally it was for 100 portions, which we've scaled down the recipe. So we're going to go through the ingredients, tell you what the original portions were and what the scaled down version is. So you can try to make this at home. So for the peanut butter filling, uh, ingredients, peanut butter, softened, originally one gallon. We're going to be using about 10 ounces. Uh, Next up is butter softened, originally one pint. Uh, we'll be using three tablespoons. And finally, milk evaporated, originally one quart. We're going to be using uh, 2.5, ounces. So the, this is the makeup. Mix together peanut butter, butter, and milk until smooth. Place on the sandwich. And here's where it gets interesting because there are a lot of different variations. Uh, like your peanut butter and jam. That's the standard. And how you make it. Uh, to eight pounds peanut butter, add uh, seven pounds of jam, jelly, or apple butter. I've done that before, but I want to try something a little bit different. So here are some other options. Peanut butter and ham. To four pounds peanut butter, out, add four pounds chopped cooked ham and two pounds pickled relish. And here we go, peanut butter and chili sauce. To eight pounds peanut butter, add a half gallon of chili sauce. Peanut butter and horseradish. That's an interesting one. To nine pounds peanut butter, add one pound prepared horseradish. And finally, the one that we're definitely going to be trying today, peanut butter and cooked bacon. To eight pounds peanut butter, add three pounds chopped cooked bacon. All right, so we're going to get into this recipe. I'm going to do the standard uh, uh, peanut butter and jam and also alongside of it, side of it the uh, peanut butter and cooked bacon. So let's get into it and see how these turn out. Well, here's our peanut butter mixture, and I would suggest using natural peanut butter. It seemed to work very well. Uh, and what the milk and the butter seem to do is basically thin out the peanut butter and from what I gather, it makes it last longer and it makes it easier to spread. And as you can see on our U.S. Navy mess tray here from World War II, we have our two different sa sandwich variations. Uh, one peanut butter sandwich with the filling with uh, jam, the other with the uh, chopped cooked bacon on it. So let's, uh, let's give the bacon one a try and see how it, how it is. Well, as a friend of mine once said when he saw the peanut butter and bacon filling recipe, anchors away. This is a pretty good recipe, and I highly suggest you try it out. Uh, same thing with the peanut butter and jam. And uh, that's another fantastic recipe out of the 1945 edition of the Cookbook of the United States Navy. If you're interested in learning more, please visit the website of the Naval History and Heritage Command, history.navy.mil, and we'll see you at our next cooking video.